today i will be discussing with you some example sums on integers from class 6 maths now as we have discussed in our previous class about the use of sign operation in uh, addition and subtraction of integers today we will see the use of uh, the concept of sign operation in multiplication through some example sums okay so as you can see i have written a question find the product of the following integers now find the product means we have to multiply and get the result okay so you see i have written uh, some sums so let us see how the concept of sign operation is uh, used in multiplication now you see the first one is 7 whole into minus 4 now see in the previous uh, class we have seen the addition and subtraction of uh, integers but here we will multiply the numbers now here if you remember the sign operation table we multiplied plus and minus okay in different ways now you see here this 7 is there any sign in front no no sign means it is plus okay so plus into minus is minus okay since they are multiplying that is why and 7 fours are 28 okay and then let us see one more example to make it more clear it is minus 9 whole into minus 5 okay now see here the two minus are multiplying directly they are multiplying directly okay so minus into minus is plus all right plus and 9 fives are 45 and we do not write the plus sign in front of a positive number so we write only 45 okay and then let us see one more example it is minus 2 into minus 3 into minus 4 now you see there are three integers and all the integers are negative integers so let us take two at a time minus into minus is plus two threes are six okay and whole into minus four now see six into minus four minus into plus is minus and six fours are 24 okay multiplication is simple now here one thing what we can observe is that you see there is only one minus so the minus comes in the product there are two minus so the both the minus multiplies and becomes plus in the product and you see here there are three minus signs three minus signs multiplying and in the product also uh, the minus sign comes so what we understand from this is that uh, if the minus sign multiplies for odd number of times that means you see here uh, it is multiplying only one time and here it is multiplying three times so if minus sign is multiplying uh, odd number of times then the result will have uh, minus and if the minus sign is multiplying for even number of times as you can see here it is multiplying two times okay so the uh, product will be positive okay the result will be positive because minus sign is multiplying for even number of times okay so what we can understand is that if uh, this minus sign multiplying for odd number of times then the result will be negative and if this minus sign is multiplying for even number of times then the result will be positive only that this thing you have to remember okay then it will be easy for you to uh, do the sums find the products it will be easy for you for integers okay positive integers and negative integers to multiply and get the result it will be easy for you if you remember this concept okay that i repeat again if uh, the minus sign multiplies for odd number of times the result will have minus and if the minus will multiply even number of times then the uh, product will be 
positive. So I hope uh, you have understood it and you will do the sums correctly, you will multiply the integers correctly uh, and uh, it will be helpful for you. That's all from this class. Thank you. Thank you.